This is All India Radio Shillong, the Northeast News Bulletin, read by Arundhati Paul. Over 1,67,000 hectares of agriculture land has been affected due to the current wave of flood in Assam. However, flood situation is considerably improved now. Talking to All India Radio, Assam Agriculture Minister Atul Bora said that every effort is being made so that farmers could engage in farming works soon. The minister said that flood water submerged 506 hectares of horticulture, over 5,000 hectares of maize, 16 hectares of vegetables and nearly 21,000 hectares of a sibling of winter paddy. Bora said that over 6 lakh farmer families have been affected due to flood. He said the Assam government has sanctioned over 35 crore rupees to immediately help the flood hit farmers. Bora added that the Agriculture Department will distribute various Kharif and Ravi crops by utilizing the fund and 2.43 lakh farmers will be benefited by this initiative. The Border Security Force said the force thwarted an attempt of at least 12 Rohingya Muslims to enter into Indian territory through Tripura from Bangladesh. Two men, five women and as many children had tried to enter Sipahi Jala district about 50 kilometers from Agartala. The troops thwarted their attempts to enter into the Indian Territory through Futia village in the international border on Thursday. The BSF personnel have successfully prevented their entry. They are still on the zero line, BSF Deputy Inspector General C.L. Belwa said. A company commander-level flag meeting was held two days back on this with border guards Bangladesh, which was followed by a battalion commander-level meeting, he said. The troops have seized biscuits and soft drinks from their possession, which were manufactured in Bangladesh. The private airline company Indigo yesterday began its services from Shillong to Kolkata and vice versa. Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad Sangma, Transport Minister Snow Bhalang Dakar, beg your pardon, Dhar, and other MLAs used the services in its inaugural run from Kolkata to Shillong. Earlier in Kolkata Airport, a small function was also held where Conrad Sangma marked the inauguration of the service. With this service, people from Shillong now can reach Kolkata within one and a half hours' time. The move is also expected to benefit the tourism sector of Meghalaya. Mizoram People's Conference said it has snapped ties with the Zoram People's Movement, a coalition of small parties, after the latter was accorded the status of a political party. The MPC was one of the seven parties that formed the ZPM, which was registered as a single political party by the Election Commission on July 8th. The ZPM partners had won eight seats in the 40-member Mizoram Assembly election held in November last year. The ZPM is no longer a coalition as it has been registered with the Election Commission. The MPC has not held any deliberation on dissolving the party and amalgamating it with the ZPM. Senior MPC leader V. Lal Thauzuwala told the media. The party wants to forge an alliance with like-minded entities without having to dissolve it. He said adding that the ZPM and the MPC can also be allies. There was no need for ZPM to become a political party as it managed to win eight seats in elections to the 40-member state assembly held in November last year, he said. Bakery products made by inmates of the central jail in Sipahi Jala district of Tripura will be sold from a new shop in Agartala, which was inaugurated by Deputy Chief Minister Jishnu Dev Barma. The shop come bakery will also sell handicraft products. Altogether, 20 items prepared by the prisoners will be sold from the shop. Inspector General of Prison Joy Deep Nayak said, The shop is a pilot project of the Tripura Rural Livelihood Mission, Dev Barma said. The police department has set up snooker table in this shop to woo the young people. If the initiative is successful, then authorities will spread the business across the state. It will help to generate employment. He said the idea of selling the bakery products came after he visited the central jail and was surprised to see a clean and modern bakery there. The President has appointed Ramesh Bias and R. N. Ravi as the new governors of Tripura and Nagaland, respectively. The two governors are among the six newly appointed governors in six states in the country. The appointments will take effect from the dates they assume charge of their respective offices. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin from All India Radio, Shillong. Have a nice day.